wa ANC ubas karibu Salamu alaikum Roger Kenya kwanza oye Kenya kwanza oye Ruto oye Ruto oye Asante ni sana Haya kimi ya kidogo Haya kimi ya kidogo Wacha tuonge tafadhali Tafadhali tulieni Haya asante ni sana Your Excellency The Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya Mina ito Nirombe ikiti last time 2017 Wewe ukanibakisha Tuka ingisha ndugu yangu Muhammad Abdi Mahmud Kwa jubili ticket Alafu nikakua nimeaidiwa wakati huu Mimi naitua Team Justice Sindio? Team Justice Ndugu yangu William Samoy Ruto Amedhulumiwa pia Sindio? Si samu Kuna saidia wale ambao wamedhulumiwa sio hiyo ndio kero hiyo ndio tumeamrishwa sio tunataka msimame na ndugu yangu William Samoy Ruto mimi nilikuwa hapa juzi nilikuja na ile timu nyingine sio leo nime defect nimeamua hiyo sio njia naamua kwamba ndio government of 2022 nataka Yani, ndugu zangu kuna kitu kuna 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 kitu nataka kusema kitu muhimu sana muhimu sana Kenya hii kuna kabila mbili si ndio kabila ya maskini na kabila mali Sindio? Sisi tumeona kwamba 90% ya nchi hii ni wale hawana chochote. 90%. Hii nchi inahitaji revolution, economic revolution. Na hiyo ndio bottom up approach ndio anauza leo na sisi tuko na Sindio? Hello? Hello, hello. Microphone in any fail. Lakini wale maskini wale maskini wale maskini ambao wanataka kazi nchi hii wale wanataka North Eastern ikuwe na Marshall Plan ile ambayo itaondoa 50 years of colonization 50 60 years of colonization ni ndugu yangu Tunataka hiyo maneno nyinyi nyote mkuwe on board wajia 80% Kenya kwanza William Samoy Ruto Samoy we, Ruto oye Ruto oye ndugu zangu nataka sisi pia ndugu yenu ambaye ni Ugas Sheikh Mohamed ambaye ni mara ya tu kugombea kiti ambaye nataka muangalie sio mtatuchagua asanteni sana na wakaribisha wazee wetu wote karibuni wajia asante sasa tutaita deputy governor wetu governor aspirant ahmed ali mokar thank you thank you thank you thank you sir Tuwekei chini tafadhali. Salamu alaikum Rewajer. UDA. UDA kazi ni kazi. UDA. Your Excellency karibu wajia. Together with your principles. Rewajer wa handi nishega ina manta wa ha inojo kutu marti adi ya duhulus. Madha huwa ina kuhige inka wadda nka Kenya. So man. Masodo wa ina ina masa masodo wa ina ino. Gaanti na rawa marki na arako ina sodo wa ina isa ni yankala. Gaanti na rawa ina arako. Gaanta 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 gaanta. Agba du mahal santin. Mashan wa hajju hu. Mudhanayal. Senators. Governors. Zuma. 
لكن وحمد كان هاي ويليام سمي روتو إن أمد حينا وصوته وينه وصوته رنو ثمان وير نلقو دبا كبدا هيا وير مقا وير 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 Thank you very much. I thought my sentin. Your Excellency, Karibu Wajia. Shida ya Wajia ni mingi sana. We have so many, many, many problems. But we believe if we elect you come 9th August 2022, many of these problems will be sorted. What are these problems? I just want to mention three of them. Your Excellency, we have a problem of electricity in this town. Wajia is growing by the day and it has become a very big city but it has a problem of electricity Situnashida and Sitima Nataka ni Nataka ni wale wanasema tunataka Sitima kutoka President Ruto after his elections Thank you very much The other one is Ukosevu Wamaji We have issues of water in this county and we are glad at least you tried your best. Through you, we have a mega dam that is supposed to be built very, very soon. That the procurement process has already been completed in Bute. We want the same in several corners of this county. In Tarbat, in Wajia South, in Wajia East, in Eldas, and in Wajia West. We want the same replicated. Your Excellency, the other very big problem we have is the issue of the roads. Shida barabara. What you want to shida barabara ama hatuna? Nataka ni one wale wanasema tuna shida barabara. Mikono, mikono, mikono. Thank you very much. I believe Ruto is up to the task and will solve a, a number of these issues. Yes, yes, I just want to tell you also one thing. I, always, I want to end with this note. Two weeks ago we were here and we were with the other team. You know them very well. We listened to them. We felt we don't belong there. We are with you and we will work with you. Still, the Azimio team has no agenda for the people of Northern Kenya. Not only the people of Ojia, but the people of Northern Kenya. So, Karibuni Sana. Wabariki. Salamu alikum. Haya 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 tujitayarishe tujitayarishe sasa. Ya tayarisha kukaribisha mheshimiwa Deputy President wetu mheshimiwa William Samoe. DJ Wapping Goma. Una taka ni kusimple, humble, rich, young, dope, ane namba. Una taka ni kumba, kumba, Wajia hamjambo Wajia hamjambo Wajia salamu alaikum Wajia bwana Yesu asifiwe Hebu nione kwa mikono watu wa Wajia nione kama mnakaribisha sisi hapa Wajia Hey Aya wacha niombe hawa jamaa tuweke hii tuweke mabango chini kidogo Si namna hiyo Wacha wa jamaa watarimushe mabango kidogo Basi Wangwana wa wajia Mimi kwanza nataka jameni ni washukuru sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa nyumbani kwenu Na mimi nataka ni washukuru tena Tulikuja hapa tukwaomba kura yenu mkatupatia mkatuongezea maombi 
nimerudi kusema asante sana wajia narudia kusema asante sana wajia na tulikubaliana na nyinyi si ni kweli kwa sababu ya kura zenu na kwa sababu ya maombi yenu ndio tumetengeneza mambo katika taifa letu la Kenya tumejenga barabara kilomita elfu kumi tumeunganisha stima watu milioni nane na nusu tumetengeneza technical training colleges nyingi na mimi nataka niseme nikiwa wajia training watu walikuwa na stima hapa wajia kaunti mzima walikuwa watu elfu tatu leo tumefikisha watu trini na saba tumewaunganishia stima katika wajia kaunti hii wajia kaunti hamuku kuwa na college hata moja ya teknolojia leo tuko na colleges tano mpya ya teknolojia hapa katika wajia kaunti tuko, ni, tuko na TTI kule wajia south tuko na TTI Tarbaj tuko na TTI hapa wajia east tuko na TTI kule wajia north na Eldas tumetengeneza griftu hapa griftu tumetengeneza college kubwa ya masomo ya watoto wa hapa wajia mimi nataka niwaelize vijana wa hapa wajia sasa muko na nafasi ya kusomea ufundi na teknolojia ndio tuhakikisha kwamba vijana wa wajia wanaungana na vijana wa Kenya wakati wanatafuta mambo ya ajira kwa sababu watakuwa wamesomea ufundi na pia ndio tuweze kupeleka Kenya mbele tukiwa pamoja na watu wa wajia Tunaelewana ndugu zangu watu wa wajia Tunaelewana Na mimi nasimama hapa mbele yenu kuambia ya kwamba tuko na nafasi ya kuunda serikali ingine mwaka huu Nyinyi wangwana wa wajia mko na hiyo habari Mko na habari Mko na habari kamili ama mko na mkutasari peke yake Mungu na habari kamili. Tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane Mimi nawauliza nyinyi wajia. Nyinyi mumejipanga ama nyinyi ni wada wa kupangwa? Ati? Ati? Ati wajia mupangwingwi? Ati wajia mnasemaje? Ati wajia mnasemaje? Wajia mupangwingwi? Sasa mimi nataka niwaulize. Si so, unajua kuna majamaa wako na kiburi na madharau mingi. Wako kwa mahoteli na maofisi kule Nairobi. Ati wanataka kutupanga na ule mzee. Wajia jameni. Mimi nawauliza nyinyi watu wa wajia. Wale wako kwa mahoteli na maofisi ndio wataamua ama nyinyi ndio mtaamua? Wale wa mahoteli na maofisi ndio kusema ama nyinyi ndio kusema? Nyinyi ndio kusema? Nyinyi ndio mtaamua? Hebu nione wala nisema sisi ndio tutaamua wajia. Sasa mimi nataka niwaulize watu wa wajia. Mimi nataka niwaulize yule jamaa wa kitendawili anasema yeye anataka kubadilisha katiba. Aongeze mamlaka ya rais atianzishe rege tena mimi nataka niulize nyinyi watu wa wajia mnataka tubadilishe katiba tuongeze vyeo na mamlaka ya viongozi tubadilishe uchumi tupange ajira ya hawa vijana tubadilishe katiba ama uchumi tubadilishe katiba ama uchumi mnasema tubadilishe uchumi ndio tupange ajira ya na tupange biashara yenu na tupange kilimo Ebu nione wala anasema tubadilishe uchumi. Kwanza. Tunakubaliana? Na ndio mimi nasimama hapa wajia kuwauliza ndugu zetu wa watu wa wajia. Msikubali hawa majamaa watubebe ufala. Tunataka tuwaambie mambo ya katiba na vyeo na mamlaka ingoje wacha kwanza tubadilishe uchumi tupange ajira ya mahasla na tupange biashara ya mahasla na tuwaki
kuhakikisha kwamba kila mmoja wetu ako na chakula na kila mtu anaweza kulisha familia yake. Ama mnasemaje watu wa wajia? Ama mnasemaje? Ndio mimi nasimama hapa kuwauliza kwa unyenyekevu na kwa heshima kubwa watu wa wajia. Musikubali hawa watu watuuzie uoga. Musikubali hawa watu watuuzie migawanyiko. Musikubali hawa watu watuuzie ukabila. Tunataka tuwaambie Kenya ni ya wakenya wote na sisi ni wakenya kama wakenya wengine. Hatuwezi kukubali majamaa wawili watatu ati watupange kwa taifa letu la Kenya. Mwaka huu ile wanapanga kwa maoteli na maofisi, mwaka huu tutawaonyesha kwamba watajua hawajui. Ati watajua? Ati watajua? Ati watajua? Eh mwaka huu watajua hawajui. Sijui kama tunaelewana my friends. Ndio mimi nataka munisikize kwa makini. Tumesema priority number one hapa katika hii mkutano 90% ni vijana ni kweli ama kweli? Ni vijana ni kweli ama kweli? Tuko na vijana zaidi ya milioni ine Kenya. Wamemaliza shule, wako na certificate, diploma, degree, hawana ajira. Alafu jamaa anataka kutuambia ya kwamba priority ni kubadilisha katiba ati vyeo na mamlaka ya viongozi. Hata kama wewe ni wazimu kiasi gani, uweze kujua ya kwamba priority ni kupanga ajira ya hawa vijana? Ni wazimu wako nayo si wazimu. Ni wazimu wako nayo si wazimu. Lakini mwaka huu chuma chao kimotoni, watajua hawajui. Mbona nielewa? Ndio mimi nawauliza ndugu zangu wajia. Najua hapa wajia watu wameuziwa uoga mingi. Oh sijui serikali. Oh sijui serikali. Mimi nikisimama hapa mimi ndio deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Kwani hiyo serikali aina gani? Mimi mnanielewa? Tunaelewana wajia. Kwani mungu ni mtu ya serikali ya wapi? Eh? Ndiyo mimi nataka niwaambie hivi Please Pu, Tumesema Agenda yetu number one Vile tulikuwa tumepangia pale kwa big four Tunaweka bilioni miyamoja ya kwanza Kwa mambo ya agro processing, value addition, manufacturing, housing Na miradi ambayo itapatia hawa vijana wetu Ajira as a matter of priority These young people na ndio mimi ninasema serikali tunaunda tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane ni serikali itakayoweka pesa kwa mfuko ya mwananchi wa kawaida that is the government we want to build that's going to create equality in the nation of Kenya watu wawajia tutaungana tunasema number two tunasema kazi ni kazi wera ni wera Tunasema kazi ni kazi hapa mwana magani Hata kama biyashara yako ni kidogo my friend Ni jukumu letu kukusaidia Ili biyashara yako ndogo leo iwe biyashara kubwa kesho Tunaelewana Na tunasema hawa wafanyi biyashara wachini 98% ya wafanyi biyashara wote ni hawa mahasla Wale wako na biyashara ya chini Hawana pesa ya kuendesha biyashara yao Hawana mahali ya kukopa pesa, hawajulikani kwa bank na hawana security. Ndiyo wengi, wengi wanaangaishwa na fuliza na wanaangaishwa na CRB na wanaangaishwa na mashailo. Ndiyo mimi nasimama hapa kuwaambia. Mwaka huu, wewe ambaye ujulikani kwa bank na huna security na unaangaishwa na fuliza na mashailo. Mwaka huu tutaweka pesa ya serikali kwa biashara yenu. Nimesema tutaweka bilioni hamsini kwa biashara ya hawa watu wa chini hawa wanaohangaishwa na fuliza na wanaohangaishwa na mashailo mtu wa wajia mimi nataka nikuulize mimi nataka nikuulize mimi nataka nikuulize kama serikali ya Kenya sisi tumeweka pesa bilioni moja kwa kampuni moja ya Kenya Airways iko makosa tukiweka bilioni hamsini kwa biashara ya hawa watu wa chini Hawa watu wengi 
Watu wawache mchezo bwana. Hii Kenya si yao peke yao. This is our country as well. Tunaelewana? Si mmesikia ule mzee wa kitenda wili akilalamika? Ati oh, huyu William Ruto anatoa wapi pesa? Sijui amepatia boda boda milioni mbili Amepatia mama mboga milioni mbili Anatoa wapi pesa? We mtu ya kitenda wili. Wacha kulalamika milioni mbili Milioni mbili ni pesa kidogo. Mwaka huu tutachukua pesa ya serikali bilioni msini tuweke kwa biashara ya hawa watu wa chini hawa that's what we are going to do kwani kwani watadu watafanya nini watafanya nini kwa sababu hii Kenya ni ya wa Kenya milioni hamsini hii Kenya si ya family mbili tatu ine tano no this is all our country sijui kama tunaelewana watu wawajia tunaelewana tumakubaliana mimi nataka ni waambie pia Agenda yetu ya tatu tunasema tunaweka pesa ya kutosha kwa kilimo Tuwakikishe ya kwamba kila mkulima Nyingi hapa Adam ya kutosha Tuwakikishe ya kwamba muko na maji nyumbani Muko na mamia na mifugo Na muko na maji ya irrigation Tuwakikishe ya kwamba kila mkulima Kila mfugaji Ako na uwezo wa kuzongeza mazao yake Ngamia na ngombe ihesabiwe sio kwa mambo ya ngombe ngapi lakini kilo ngapi ya nyama tuko nayo na ihesabiwe kwa kilo ya maziwa tunapata ndio tuhakikisha kwamba tunaweka pesa ya eh, kwa mfuko ya wakulima na wafu, kwa sababu tumewasaidia kuzalisha chakula zaidi na kuzalisha yao zaidi na tuwatafutie soko ya kutosha ili kila mkulima aweke pesa kwa mfuko na watu ya kutosha tuondoe njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya na kila mmoja wetu awe na uwezo ya kulisha familia yake tumekubaliana jameni na agenda yetu ya ine nataka munisikize watu wawajia watu wengi bado wanaangaika na bills ya hospitali watu wengi wana na gharama ya hospitali kuna watu hata wanaogopa kwenda hospitalini hata wakiwa wagonjwa kwa sababu hawajui watalipa vipi. Wengine wanauza mali yao, wengine wanauza shamba yao, wengine wanauza mifugo yao. Mimi nataka ni watangazie kabla ya Disemba mwaka huu, mwaka gani? Kabla ya Disemba mwaka huu tutahakikisha ya kwamba kila Mkenya ako na bima ya afya ya NHIF. Republic of Kenya Mimi nataka ni ulize hapa Wangapu wako na kadi ya NHIF hapa kwa hii mkudano Maona dunia hii yote hakuna mtu hiko na kadi ya NHIF Mimi nataka ni watangazie hivi Wale wan, wanapata mshahara kubwa kama William Ruto na wale wengine wadosi Tutalipa Na wale mama mboga na hawa watu wabwada hapa chini Tutawapunguzia garama miatano ni mingi na wale hawana uwezo kabisa tutawalipia kama serikali ya Kenya. Tunataka kila Mkenya aende hospitalini akatibiwe na aende ya kuulizwa pesa kwa sababu bima ya afya ya NHIF italipa bili ya hospitali ya kila Mkenya. Tunakubaliana watu wa wajia? Tunakubaliana? Mimi nataka niwaambie kuna shughuli mingi ya hii North, Northern Kenya ambayo tayari tulikuwa tumepanga tumesha negotiate tayari na World Bank na wahisani wa, wa wengine tume negotiate 100 billion shillings ya Marshall Plan ya Northern Kenya lakini hiyo mpango yote imekwama kwa sababu kuna watu hawa Pakistan ikai kama Kenya ingine lakini I am giving you my commitment ya kwamba the first 100 days ya serikali yetu tutafungua rasmi hiyo program ya Marshall Plan ya Northern Kenya na tutaweka ile pesa tayari iko ni ya kujenga barabara kutoka Isiolo kwenda Kulamawe kwenda mpaka Modogashe kutoka Modogashe ikuje mpaka Habaswain ikuje mpaka Samatar itoke Samatar ikuje hapa Wajia itoke hapa iende Kutulo 
itoke kutulo iende mpaka ramo itoke ramo iende mpaka mandera hiyo barabara tuambie hiyo barabara ya kilomita mia saba the first 100 days tuta sign kandarasi kwa sababu tuko na pesa tayari kutoka World Bank ya kujenga hiyo barabara kuna watu wachache wanazuia hiyo contract kwa sababu wako na njama ya kudivert hiyo pesa wapeleke mahali mbingine lakini mimi nataka ni waambie they will not succeed kwa sababu hiyo pesa ni ya kusaidia kufungua Northern Kenya ili Northern Kenya ikae kama Kenya ile ingine Tunaele... hapa wajia huko na pesa yenu bilioni tano ya maji na sewage system nimesikia viongozi wenu wakisema muko na matatizo ya sewage na maji we already have 5 billion shillings from the World Bank imebaki tu maneno kidogo na imebaki mambo ya upuzi ambaye watu wengine wanataka kukata kona I want to promise you I will straighten hiyo maneno within the first hundred days mutakuwa na pesa yenu 5 billion ya kuweka maji na sewage hapa wajia county njini muna nielewa Ndugu zangu watu wa wajia tunaelewana? Tumekubaliana? Na hii wajia lazima iwe on the national grid. Hatuwezi kuendelea hapa wajia kutumia genset mara stima on, mara stima off, mara stima on, mara stima off. Lazima to sort out that problem once and for all by connecting wajia to the national grid like we have done in Garissa. Yenye muna nielewa? Watu wa wajia tunakubaliana? Na ndio mimi nimekuja niwaone macho kwa macho na munisikie kwa masikio yenu na niwaombe kwa heshima nyinyi muko tayari tuunde hii serikali pamoja jameni wajia muko tayari na mujue wale ambao tunashindana na wao tumewashinda na akili na tumewashinda na mpango Sasa mpango yao yote ni William Ruto, William Ruto hii, William Ruto ile. Mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa azimio, wacheni kuzimia na jina ya William Ruto. Tafuteni agenda muuzie wa Kenya. Tafuteni program muuzie wa Kenya. Tafuteni mpango muuzie wa Kenya. William Ruto si manifesto yenu. Ama siku ingine tena mutarudi muzeme kura zenu zimeibiwa kwa sababu wananchi wamekosa sera kwenu na wamepigia Kenya kwanza. Don't blame us. When we win the election by a landslide, it's because you don't have a plan. It's because you don't have an agenda. Your agenda from morning up to evening is William Ruto this, William Ruto that. William Ruto the other, William Ruto this. Na meme nataka ni mulize mzee wa kitenda wili. Nilisikia juzi, ati mzee wa kitenda wili anasema atapigana na ufizadi. My friend, how on earth will you fight corruption? How on earth will you fight corruption? You are the biggest. You are the biggest beneficiary of corruption in Kenya. They are using in the campaign is money stolen, and you have you have been given that money. Ask for that money using force from governors. The people who are campaigning with you are the people who have stolen from sick people. They have stolen the money from cancer, and they are financing your campaign. You run a dry cleaners for governors who have stolen money from poor people in their counties. And then you dare tell us that you are going to fight corruption. Tafuta watu wa kuuzia ufala my Wa Kenya siyo wajinga kiasi hiyo. You have no ground. You have no plan. The only formation that has a plan, a credible plan to fight corruption, is the Kenya Kwanza formation. Because we have said... We are going to operationalize the judiciary fund to give the judiciary the necessary to fight corruption. We are going to the DPP, the DCA, and the IG have independent money so that they can fight corruption without being called by anybody. And that is building institutions to fight corruption, not doing the small things you want to tell us you want to do. Amanu Magani Jameni. Tunaelewana? Sasa kama jamaa anatumia pesa imeibiwa kutoka kwa counties. Alafu anatuambia atapigana na mfuzadi. Kama yeye mwenyewe anaendesha laundry pale kwake, mtu yote corrupt, bora atoe pesa kidogo anaoshwa. Muosho moja mambo inakwisha. Saa hizi 
anatuambia ya kwamba atapigana na ufisadi na wale wakora wote waliibia watu wagonjwa kule kule Kemsa ndio watu yake Kemsa campaign yake in fact Raila is a product of corruption because that is what he feeds and sleeps on every day so please tafuta wakenya utafuta watu wa kudanganya rafiki yangu ama namna gani watu wa hapa wajia tunakubaliana tutatembea pamoja hebu nione wapi anasema tutatembea pamoja 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 sasa niwaulize wajia mimi nataka niwaulize si mnajua sasa mimi mashindano ni kati yetu na ule mzee wa kitendawili si mnajua hapo ndio iko mashindano mimi nauliza nyinyi hiyo ni mashindano ya urembo ama mashindano ya kazi si ni mashindano ya kazi na kila mtu anapimwa na ile kazi amefanya wacha tuwaje ya Kenya ya Kenya ni mingi hapa wajia hapa peke yake mimi nikiwa deputy president hospitali yenu ya wajia hapa tumeleta equipment ya milioni mia tano kweli ama kweli mimi nikiwa deputy president tumejenga technical training colleges tano ya wajia county ni kweli ama kweli mlikuwa na stima watu elfu tatu saa hizi tumefikisha watu elfu ishirini na na saba wajia county connected to electricity ni kweli ama kweli mimi nauliza nyinyi kazi ya bwana Kitendawili akiwa prime minister hapa wajia iko wapi kuna kazi yote amepanga hapa wajia alipanga mambo ya stima hospitali alipanga hata pesa ya sadaka ya madrasa apitoa sasa nyinyi kwa sababu nyinyi ndio mtaamua kura yenu ni ya Kitendawili ama ya hasla Kura yenu ni akitendawili ama hasla? Hasla nione hapa kura ya hasla nione kura ya hasla. <laughs> na hata hawa watu mimi nashangaa. Hawa watu wanatusukumia mtu ya kitendawili hata nao wanajaribu. Sasa niwaulize watu wa wajia. Mimi nataka niwaulize. Kwani huyu mtu ya kitendawili tunasukumiwa saa hizi? Ni mwingine mtalia amekuja ama ni mgeni ametoka wapi ama ni yule tunamjua? Si yule tunamjua? Si ni kitandawili yule tunamjua? Si ni yule jamaa ambaye amekoroga serikali yetu mpaka imepotea? Si ni yule jamaa ambaye anakataa matokeo ya uchaguzi? Si ni yule jamaa wa kungoa reli? Si ni yule jamaa wa fujo? Si ni yule jamaa wa kujiapisha? Si ni yule mngwana hana agenda tili mtiala la ria? Ah please. Watu 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 wasitupepe ufala bwana. Tunamjua mtu ya kitendawili. Sasa mimi nataka niwaulize nyinyi. Kitendawili haja amekuwa uongozi. Hana rekodi ya kufanya kitu chochote. Saa hii miaka imefika themanini Sasa ndio ataanza kujua vile ya kupanga maendeleo ya Kenya. Hajapanga miaka hii yote. Mimi nataka nikubaliane na nyinyi watu wa wajia. Tumsaidie huyo mzee na kazi moja. Nataka tukubaliane na nyinyi. Nataka tumsaidie kitendawili na kazi moja. Tumuweke kwa express mpaka Bondo aende hapo muziki. <laughs> Ama mnasemaje wajia? Hapa mnasemaje wajia? Tumekubaliana? Tumekubaliana? Hebu nione wala anasema tumekubaliana, tumekubaliana. Arambe. Arambe Arambe Si mnajua tuko na Uganda Si tuko na gavana na URR Si tuko na gavana na UGAS Tuko na masenetas wengi Tuko na women rep na wabunge Sisi tunawauliza watu wa wajia kwa heshima kubwa mtupatie gavana mwenye atafanya kazi na sisi kutransform wajia county Mutupatie senator atasimama na kutetea haki ya watu wa wajia. Mutupatie wabunge, wa wajasiri sio watu wa kununuliwa na mandasi. Wawe ni watu ambao wanaweza kusimamia haki ya watu wa wajia. Na ma MCAs watapanga mambo ya wajia tukiwapatia pesa hapa katika county government. Mutatupatia hawa Mutatupatia na mwisho mnajua hawa watu sababu tumewashinda na mpango tumewashinda na akili tumewashinda na mpango yote sasa ni porojo na propaganda 
hati sasa wanawaambia ati wao unajua huyu hasla atashinda kura lakini deep state sijui na system itamnyang'anya kura mimi nataka niwaambie watu wawajia sawa sawa mimi ndio deputy president ya Kenya kwani nyinyi watu wawajia mnafikiri kuna deep state mimi sijui kwani mnafikiri ya kwamba kuna system mimi sijui na nyinyi mkiniona mimi ninakaa mtu ya kuweza kunyang'anywa kura hata nyinyi mkinipima ah, ah, my friend hawa hawa watajua wajui watajua wajui mimi niwaulize hawa watu they do nothing hakuna kura ya mtu wataiba si tulishindana na wao msambweni si tuliwashinda msambweni kuna kitu walifanya si tulishindana na wajuja si tuliwashinda kuna kitu walifanya si tulishindana na wao kiamba shinda kuna kitu walifanya tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane tutawashinda bui na mapema na hakuna kitu watafanya they will do nothing hawa ni watu bure they will do nothing hawa watakunja mukia wafunge virago wakwende nyumbani serikali tisi na tupange mambo yake tumekubaliana eh, watu wajia tumekubaliana kuite ndugu yangu waswahili wanasema umoja ni nini umoja ni nini umoja ni nini ndio tumeungana tumeungana na ndugu yetu Musalia Mudavadi wa ANC tumeungana na ndugu yetu Mheshimiwa Weta wa Ford Kenya tumeungana na wakenya kutoka sehemu zote kwa kujenga serikali yenye unaunganisha wakenya wote na tumeungana na watu wa wajia kaunti ili tuweze kutembea na kuunda serikali itakaye shughulika na mambo ya wakenya wote bila ya kubagua na bila ya mambo yengine yoyote ambayo itaweza kuwatenganisha wakenya jameni watu wa Mnakubaliana? Mnakubali tuungane? Mnasema tuungane? Hebu niwane wala anasema tuungane 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 tuungane. Wacha ni muite ndugu. Mheshimiwa Musalia Mudavadi Madvd. Aya 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 Na wakati msali anakuja wata niwaambie mimi najua mwezi mtukufu fulani iko karibu Watu wawajia na watakiria Ramadhani yenye baraka nyingi za Mungu na mtuombe muombe taifa letu muombe amani na muombe mambo mazuri Mungu atupatie uwezo na mambo mengine mazuri ya kuendesha taifa letu la Kenya Asanteni sana asalamu alaikum Hii ni ajira ama ni wapi? Eh yeah. buweka mkono juu. Yeah. Si mnajua earthquake? Yeah. Si mnajua earthquake? Yeah. Tingiza. Yeah. Sema earthquake. Yeah. Earthquake. Yeah. Earthquake. Yeah. Asante sana. Sasa earthquake imeingia wajia. Si